Aiden Lee just signed a 10-day contract with the Phoenix Suns. If you guys don't know who Saban Lee is, Saban Lee is a dog. He, he came to notoriety when he was on the Detroit Pistons, and he's bounced around the league, but Saban Lee is a guy who can score, score with the best of them. And I've always been a fan of his. I've always thought he's a good player. And he came out from Vanderbilt. Yes, Vanderbilt. Smart guy, only 23 years old. He was a second-round pick, and he's played for the 76ers and the Pistons now. The Phoenix Suns have picked him up. And for me, it's going to be interesting to see him because he's a guy who can put up points in bunches. He's very, you know, a hustler, a lot of energy. I'm not saying he's an elite defender, but because of his energy and stuff, he pounds the ball. I think the biggest complaint with him is that he can be a bit motor, not, not motor, but tunnel vision with his passing. But I think over the seasons, he has become a better passer this year. Through his seven games with the Raptors, 905, he's averaging six assists and 21.7 points and shooting, yes, 50. The other thing is his three point shots are very hit or miss, but he is very good at attacking the rim. And with Dwayne Washington and being kind of like forced to be the primary point guard for at times with Chris Paul missing games, it's going to definitely be interesting to see how this all plays out. Because Saban Lee has played 87 games over the last three years in the NBA. And I think for this team, 10-day contract could end up leading to a full thing. Crazy that they haven't tried Alfred Payton. But yeah, Cameron Payton has not has been out with injury. And also when he's played, he hasn't been that consistent. So with those being major factors right there, they've kind of given extended look at you know Dwayne Washington. And if they want, now they can get us themselves a look at Saban Lee. And if he can show the passing of the three-point shot being to be somewhat consistent, he could be a really good backup point guard in the NBA, in my opinion. And sorry, Twitter is blowing up right now. But with that being said, I do want to hear your guys' thoughts on how do you think of Saban Lee? Do you think he'll be someone who will come out of here? I just, I've always liked Saban Lee's tenacity, his hustle, and I just know the biggest thing with him are is that, yes, he sometimes does iso ball and goes tunnel vision. Other times, yeah, another three-point shot isn't falling, but he's only 23 years old. He's had a few seasons in the NBA. He was drafted, technically, by the Utah Jazz and then traded to the Pistons. And I was, I've always been a big fan of his, okay? And for me... I think when you look at Saban Lee, the one thing that you're just hoping that it all works out with him is just it will work out if that three-point shot falls. So I think that's just something people need to watch it for, and he could be a really good player for this team. So let me know your thoughts down below. I think it's definitely interesting to see how it all plays out. And... Yeah, besides that, if there was anything else I might have missed, let me know, and we can talk about it, right? That's it, guys. I don't know what else we'd be talking about saving me right here, but if you guys did enjoy this video, like, comment, and subscribe. It would be greatly appreciated. Um, and, yeah, I think that, I don't know what else you guys would want to hear from me. The Suns can turn their season around if they can find players to help them out. That's the big thing. If they can find guys that can stay healthy and help them out, there's no doubt that they can turn their season around. But to do so, you need to stay healthy. So that's the big if. Goodbye.